This elephant is the latest to be killed in the state of Assam. She was electrocuted by a live wire fence put up by villagers trying to keep the animals away from their homes. Saraswati and her family live close to where the pregnant elephant was found dead. They deny erecting illegal fences, but say the wild elephants wreak havoc on their lives. They destroy houses, chase people, destroy the fencing. There was one day that we couldn't even stay here because they destroyed the house. We had to flee to someone else's house. Elsewhere in Chirang district, farmer Dhananjay surveys the damage to his crops. I had a good crop and look what's happened. There is a forest nearby and the elephants are creating problems every day. We don't sleep at night. We spend our nights in the field guarding the crop. If we fall asleep inside for an hour or two and come outside in the morning, the crops are destroyed. Wildlife officials say the loss of natural habitat is leading to more elephants leaving the forests and more deaths of both the animals and villagers as they come into contact with each other. Human population is increasing day by day, but the, say, parallelly we are losing the land. Where do wild animals go? They are losing the habitat every day. But villagers in the district of Nagao believe they may have found a solution. They've set aside 33 hectares of land for the elephants and have created what they call a meal zone for them. And they say since growing rice for the elephants, the animals have left their crops alone. For the last two years, elephants are giving us love and we are giving them love back. They don't come to the village often anymore and when they do, they just pass by quietly. They don't harm anything. That is why we are thankful to them. Wildlife officials say creating meal zones isn't a permanent solution because they lure elephants out of their natural habitat. But the villagers of Nagao say they've found a way to live in harmony with the animals for now. Elizabeth Puranam, Al Jazeera, New Delhi.